And now, back to Kids Are People Too. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, if a picture is worth a thousand words, to save time, here's a way to say a lot about our next guest. Look. Ah. Isn't that And take look. Uh -huh. Sense of humor she has, yes. Very thin. Oh, that's a Band-Aid, I think, there. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know who this is? Don't we know? Ooh. A little bit of gasping here. My heart stopped a minute ago. Whew. Please welcome Brooke Shields. <laughs> Yay. How are you? Ooh, come sit with me. Why don't you sit there? Quite an audience, yes? Yes, I was watching the show. What do you think when you get the, when you're backstage you're watching? Yes. It? What do you think when, when you look at all those baby pictures and stuff like that? Oh, I think it's fun. I think everybody is just looking at their baby pictures. I mean, yeah, I guess I so. was like bald until I was really young. <laughs> those are your Yes. Yeah. Yes, well, I, I tend to, the ones that bother me are the ones where I was naked as a little child. You know, <laughs> I get very embarrassed by those, you know? Um, Brooke, you know, like, people must say, Brooke Shields, I mean, she's so beautiful, she has personality, she has everything. What do you say to that when people do that? Does it bother you? No, I mean, I, I'm flattered when people say that I have everything and that I'm so beautiful. I don't, I look at myself, I mean, I don't think, oh, God, you're so beautiful. I just try to be as natural and normal as I can. I don't, like, think of myself as really different or special. Yeah. But then people must be, like, uh, jealous of your movie career. I am. <laughs> I have no movie career. I'll keep working. Um, <laughs> what do you, how do you deal with the jealousy and stuff like that? What do you do? Well, I try to do my best at proving to, my, to the people that are jealous of me or to people that act differently to prove to them that I'm just as normal as they are. Because when, if, as long as they think that they're, that they're just like you or, or they can really be your friend. I mean, I don't like people to think that I'm on a different, totally different level and that I can't talk to people or anything. So I just try to be as nice and prove to them that I'm just regular. <laughs> what do you do about people who, uh, gee, I don't know how to say this, but they, they come up and they want to know you because you're Brooke Shields. You know what I mean? They're hanging out around you because you're famous or something. Well, I'm nice to them, but I, I will always sort of know that you can tell when a person is sort of just trying to get to know you because you're, say you have a certain name or something. But I just try to be as nice to them as I can, but I'll know that they won't be my closest friend. Yeah. Uh, one of the folks on our staff told me that you write poetry yeah. and uh, gave me one of your poems, which got fun. This one was written by you at age 10. I'm going to read it. But, uh, and it's, it's special because it's about your mother. I think I wrote about George Washington when I was 10. <laughs> Probably the dumbest poetry in the world. <laughs> but, but anyway, can I, I'm going to read this. This is by Brooke Shields at 10. Valentine's Day. It was Valentine's Day? Uh -huh. To your mother, okay? It says, I love you, I love you, yes I do, more than anyone ever knew. As much as we quarrel, as much as we fight, I love you the same all day and all night. I love you. I like that. <laughs> um, I hope I did it justice when I read it. I don't, you know. But that's really kind of nice. Um, I, I can see your mother probably with tears welling up in yes. her eyes when she first Whenever saw Whenever I give her something or make her something, she cries. Had you had a fight right before Thanksgiving? No, or, no. or Valentine's Day, rather? No. I just, we don't fight a lot. What I mean, do you fight about when you fight? Oh, well, it, they're fun. I mean, like, cleaning up my room or taking care of the cats, because I have four cats. And changing the kitty litter was not my favorite job. No. <laughs> and I always have to do that. And usually just know about what I'll wear. Little she, fights. You would fight over what you would wear mm -hmm. and all that sort of thing? How do you do? What do you, how do you work the difference out when you're mother's I usually mother's end up cleaning the kitty litter and wearing <laughs> what she wants me to wear. Yeah. What it, could, yeah, sorry. I mean, they, they're just regular fights between my mom and I. Yeah. What kind of relationship do you have with your mother? I know she helps you in business, and a lot, you know, she, she's written up as being with you at places and stuff like that. Is it close? It's very close. I think it's especially close because not only is my mom my mom, but she's also my manager. And Professionally a manager, yes, yeah. And, and we, um, we live together, and we're very good friends, too, so that we, I can really talk to her about anything, and we respect each other. You still live at home? And, yes. How old are you? <laughs> Fifteen. Of course you live at home. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, okay. And so it's, we have a really good relationship, because we get along, and yet, and we love each other, and yet we're good friends. We're like roommates. Do you tell your mom anything? <laughs> everything? I can tell my mom just about everything. Everything? Yeah. I mean, I was... <laughs> 
when I was when I was younger, I first tried a cigarette, you know, and I told my mom that I tried smoking. And now, wait a minute. I assume she told you not to smoke, right? Yeah. So you she okay? Told me not so to then you went ahead and had a cigarette, and then you told her about it? Yeah, because I'd always felt mm -hmm. like I knew it was wrong, and so I decided to tell my mom. So I told her, and she was real happy that I told her, and she just said, you know, she asked me if I liked it, and I said no, and <laughs> she said, would you try it again, and I said no, because I was really against it. So she gave you a positive reaction to yeah, the fact that she'd been honest. And she hadn't, she didn't punish me or something, yeah. so she didn't, otherwise, like, if I would have gotten really badly punished, then maybe if I'd done something wrong, I wouldn't have told her. You'd have gone out to defy her or something. Was there ever a point where your mother, um, I don't know, because I would think you were very worldly with your career, does she, does she ever turn to you and say, hey, Brooke, what do you think I should do? Why? Well, yeah, I mean, th as I said before, we respect each other so that we, c we get along with each other. And I help her with some certain problems. Like, say, I'll come to her with a problem of my own, and she'll discuss it with me, and we're very open with each other. And if she, she'll, if she ever had any problems of her own, she didn't feel well, or it was a bad day, or she would come to me. Or even about business, she likes to get my opinion as, like, a teenager yeah. to help her. As far as what career choices to make uh -huh. for you and that sort of thing. Now, I know you're still into poetry. And uh, I think you brought a poem with you. Would you read it? Sure. This, now, this is a more recent one. Yeah, this, this is, is Brooke Shields at 15, one, right? Yes. Um, okay. I, I write poetry whenever I feel like it. I mean, I can't really sit down and say, I'm going to write a poem. So I was, a, I was in bed and I couldn't get to sleep, so I wrote a poem. Does it about help it. you uh, work things out by writing? Yeah, if I, if, I, if I feel bad or I'm sick or I'm tired or something, then okay. I got up in the middle of the night and wrote this. It was under the cover. I played and I had a flashlight. Okay. Gave it my mom to, okay, it's called Sleep. Okay, this moment an amazing time, the relaxation of every scheduled system. The moment when thoughts flow easily all together because the silence is so loud. Minutes travel quickly and comfort surrounds us. Now the only time we can go deep into an unknown place where our problems are few and our minds imaginatively grow. So we can suspect that uh, Brooke Shields will keep writing poetry. Yeah, I heard Will you that. keep writing, doing films? Yeah, Do you want to continue definitely. with your film career? I think you're a wonderful actress, and, and each film is, is wonderful. Um, question, though. Do you want the uh, husband and children and the white picket fence? Do you want a family life also? Yeah. I plan on having children. Do Little you? babies, yeah. You want <laughs> I think you're terrific. Brooke Shields, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back right after this, so stay with us. Kids are people too. We'll return after these messages.